On January 16th, Berkshire Hathaway completed the purchase of Pilot Corp. There was some ongoing legal proceedings, which got settled 10 days previous to that, which assumedly was January 6th, with the previous owners, the Haslam family. However, those were settled 10 days after the uh, final purchase completed, and Berkshire Hathaway now is the sole owner of Pilot Corp. You can see here it was talking about the legal proceedings and whatnot, but how this relates to the uh, Pilot uh, Flying J EV Go GM Energy EV Charging Build-Out Project is one of two things is going on. In parallel to these legal proceedings and corporate purchase, there have been no sites opened. There have been several other sites spotted under construction, but conceivably those are just as a result of contractual obligations following through for in-flight projects. Um, so either the new owners suspended all in-flight projects in order to evaluate uh, whether or not they are in alignment with their new objectives, whatever those may be, or perhaps because they were storming into the end of December, opening up uh, sites like they were going out of business, everyone just took the month off. And um, I find that much less likely than the previous, because I've been in corporations that have been uh, purchased, and it's not at all uncommon for the new owners to suspend all in-flight projects in order to provide their evaluation on uh, what direction they might want to give for anything that is currently in flight. So I suspect that's what go, what's going on. I don't have any uh, specific insight into the inner workings of Pilot Corp, but just looking from a distance, that appears to be what is the case. The number of locations remains the same at 25. Um, if we were going to still complete the 175, with 25 complete, that would be another 150. 150 divided by 11, that would be 13 and a half locations per month that they would have to start opening, or probably about um, three or four per week. So those are actual locations, not actual stalls. So it would basically be about, uh, let's see, we'll times that by four. And it would basically be about two stalls per day. And um, so they definitely have their work cut out for them if this project starts proceeding again. And if nothing else, they need to at least complete and activate the locations that uh, we know of being under construction. And likely there are several more sleeper sites out here. I created this new map showing all the sites that are currently under construction um, that we know about. You can see in the state of Texas and this one up here in um, Oklahoma, if you include that, that's six right there. Um, there's three in Missouri. So this section of the country right here, right in the middle near the Mississippi River, has got a good deal of activity, activity going around it. Uh, there's two in New York that we know of under construction and um, one recently spotted in Florida, a new one in Ohio, a new one in Arizona. I'll go over these here in just a second. So this is the map showing the 175 that they're expecting to be completed by the end of 2024 prior to the purchase by Berkshire Hathaway. And I'm beginning to question the um, ability of them to complete this since we've lost the entire month of January and there's been no open sites. But we'll have to see as time goes on exactly uh, what starts to transpire. There's been no public announcements. This is all speculation on my part, but um, it, it's starting to look a little grim that this is going to get completed by the uh, 31st of December. Here's the uh, EVgo map showing coming soon locations. This is different because it includes more locations besides just the ones that were going to be completed in 2024. Uh, this is phase one, uh, approximately 250 of the 500. And so if they complete um, this, it'll basically double this once they're completely done, uh, which will be very significant. Signage on interstate is also getting updated. Um, so we'll see, we remain at 
that is unchanged. The open locations remains unchanged. The way I do this is anything that's new is highlighted. Um, and you'll see there is nothing new um, open. I have identified a few additional prices uh, on this table, so I'll pause in each one of the time zones sorted north to south. Central time zone, mountain time zone, Pacific time zone. Spotted under construction, there has been quite a bit of activity. We're now up to 22. Conceivably, because these are just kind of stagnating, then nothing is open. So, you know, instead of the project continuing, we're just now stacking up sites that are getting built and not um, activated. So we're up to 22. One new one is in Eden, Ohio. It's a Flying J. This was just found. It's off Interstate 90, very close to the Indiana border. This one is in San Antonio, Florida. And the one in Eden I had actually heard about from a uh, YouTuber, but he wasn't able to confirm that this was the case, but it showed up in PlugShare and it has now been confirmed with pictures that this is almost ready to go. San Antonio, Florida, not Texas, um, off Interstate 75, a little bit north of Tampa, is uh, confirmed under construction. There are pictures on PlugShare. And I should mention this one right here in Kenley, North Carolina. This is the first location that has six stalls. Every other location uh, that has been opened or has been spotted under construction has four stalls. This one is on Interstate 95 and it has six stalls. Um, so for some reason they're breaking the mold there and it's not quite sure why that is the case. Assumedly because the Interstate 95 corridor is such a heavily traveled corridor, they wanted to add additional capacity, but um, there's really no indication of, of why that is. Regardless, it is good to see that they're um, being a little bit flexible in the number of stalls and possibly in the um, anticipated use of these sites. Tyler, Texas is confirmed under construction, and we do have pictures that it is a canopy site. And I think, oh yeah, one more, Belmont, Arizona on the Interstate 40, which I'm suspecting to be should the project uh, continue and complete will be their first coast-to-coast -coast corridor. That I-40 corridor is pretty commonly referred to up here, and you'll see it up here in the Sire, Oklahoma, and a few other places. Um, and that's all the ones that are um, spotted under construction. The state funding reports remain unchanged. We did get some more information about uh, the site design. There's these different types, type A, B, C, D, E, and E, X. So let me go over each one. So type A is a curbside canopy. I'm seeing a lot of these, uh, but we're told that this type C is the most uh, popular or will be the most popular once the project is completed. Regardless, I'm seeing a lot of these. Type A is canopy against a curb with pull-in parking and is a rectangle canopy. 40 foot by 40 foot square canopy with pull-through. Uh, again, this is supposed to be the most common. Type D will be a diamond shaped um, in order to fit whatever drive lines the site requires. And then there's an opposite diamond shape called a type E, uh, which also is designed uh, in order to fit the uh, drive lines. The one that's kind of interesting, there's been a lot of people in PlugShare mentioning, hey, I don't see how they're going to fit EVs into this tight location because there's not enough space in order to do additional builds and i've seen that myself uh, when i was traveling around looking at these sites i'm like how are they going to put in ev chargers at this location and, and this basically answers it it's called ex and what they're going to do is um, this is not a pilot this is something similar um, something called 24 7 but i found it on PlugShare, and it's relevant to what we're talking about they're going to extend the gas canopy over so two additional um, or uh, four stalls with two dispensers can be installed. And that's how they're going to do those tight locations where, it, where they can't put in additional charging infrastructure for the, uh, uh, on the perimeter or somewhere else in the parking lot. They'll just expend, extend the gas canopy and add um, four more stalls. So that's some additional information, and this is what we could expect. This is all confirmed as accurate uh, for the site planning for the Pilot Flying J build-out for locations that have canopies. I should mention that there are many locations that do not have canopies. They just have chargers um, 
off to the edge of the um, perimeter of the lot with pull-in parking. So that's kind of like a fifth option. But these are all the canopy set, uh, designs, type A. And I don't know what B is. And maybe B is the one without the canopy. I don't know, but there's no reference for what type B is. Uh, C, the most common. Uh, D and E, the triangles. And type EX with the extension of the gas canopy. Thanks for watching.